weather. Another stunning day here in sunny Scarborough. Absolutely beautiful. Just uh, wanted to talk today a little bit more about my deer dwarf, 8x10, and one very interesting feature which I'm not sure is available on many large format cameras. I think Gandolfi may have made one, but um, I want to talk about the different formats. I've already covered the fact we have these two shapes, 5x8 and 4x10. Let's just get a coffee on the go here today. Ah, I've had a swim in the sea this morning, gorgeous, the North Sea, 11 degrees, freezing cold, love it. So obviously the 810 Deodorf is um, designed very well to shoot 8x10 film. Let's just open this thing up here. As I've already mentioned I like to keep my standard lens, my most used lens on the body itself. It's reversed, flipped round so that it will tuck inside. Um, so effectively it's got its own little case. Take off our 360 road and stock. This is on a Copal number no. 3 shutter. And I leave a lens filter adapter on there for my lens hood and filters. Not that I use many filters but the lens hood can be very useful. Open that up. Okay, so we've got a 360 on 8x10. So obviously this is designed to shoot uh, the 8x10 format, which is fantastic, beautiful shape. And um, I use this pretty much all the time, especially for my um, alternative photography work, which needs large negatives for contact printing, carbon printing and uh, silver printing. Um, salt prints need large negatives. Uh, I like to also use something which I got many years ago and used a lot in the studio actually is this little beauty which is a 5x4 reducing back. It reduces from 8x10 down to 4x5. Very neat. Um, takes Polaroid holders and 5.4 DAC slides obviously and we'll just clip on and replace either vertical or landscape format that's called landscape and suddenly we have a little 5x4 camera which is really quite useful especially if you want to use longer focal lens so with the 360 on here we've got quite a nice portrait lens on 4x5 which I find useful and I also love it in the landscape. Okay you're carrying a large camera for 4x5 but remember you've got two options you can shoot 8x10 which might be your main choice with your main format and you may want to do some little studies on 4x5 by simply just replacing the back as simple as that. Examples of obviously this is the 8x10 film holder, two sheets of film. And keeping these in the shape it's quite sunny today. And this is our lovely little 5x4 back slide, which is now reach over there, slot her in and ready to shoot. A 4x5 camera on an 8x10 body. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.